Good morning all. I've had a few bits of post in recently, so I think it's time I did a post bag. So let's start with this one. Knife's a bit iffy, but it should work. Ah, we have some paperwork. As well as this, which I think is silicone coated wire. Let's have a look how floppy it is, because that's the point of this stuff. Uh, fairly floppy and of course that's achieved by not only the silicone coating but also by not having um, thick rigid conductors inside so this should have lots of conductors let's have a look so yes that's quite a few conductors I couldn't tell you quite how many but would that be over a hundred it looks like it let me just peel a bit of that silicone sleeving back yeah, so there it is. So what do you reckon? A hundred or so, a couple of hundred maybe? Certainly a lot more strands than you get in the regular stiff wire. Didn't buy a lot, did I? Half a metre of uh, red and half a metre of black. Let's take a look at this. So it's uh, oh, 12 AWG wire, 50 centimetres black and red and I paid £3.13. So this is the item on eBay and it is 12AWG flexible silicone coated wire cable pair 50 centimetres black and red. Um, it was GBP £3.13. Uh, free shipping yes from Blacksmith Products. Now I don't know why I'm getting these Citroen C5 adverts <laughs> Because the last thing I looked up on their website was the Citroen Ami, not the C5. They're still pushing these hybrids, aren't they? Rather than the full electrics. And the place I'm most likely going to use this wire, this flexible stuff, is here. Here I've got this rather solid wire, and it's particularly solid when it's cold. Um, this is on my SCAM system. There's the new battery. New BMS now upside down because of the uh, direction of the wires and uh, it does a run every few days. The last run was 2 hours and 36 minutes. Uh, it looks like it's quite close to doing another one, 27.4. It's set to trigger at 28 at the moment. And I've still got the Antminer Z9 Mini on there. Right, next up, let's do this one. I'll use the blunty end of this this time oh, it's not too blunt what do we got in here uh, more paperwork hmm it's one of these 20% uh, discount cards when you buy direct right this item is in here and it is a oh that's irritating that's not gonna fit because the pinouts different on this uh, B1212S 2 watt to the B1212S 1 watt. Well, okay, I probably should have known or should have researched that the uh, 1212S 2 watt, the 2 watt types, uh, had this larger. Come on, camera, what is up? Right. Had this larger uh, form factor with this rather different pin spacing. Um, now, of course, I've laid out the PCB for the 1212S, and I don't need two watts, probably, um, with the conventional four pins in a row at 0.1 inch intervals. So I might have to get another one um, or bend the pins on this one and force it to fit through the holes. Perhaps I'll do that. So here's the listing, and it's not immediately obvious from this. Um, they do show that item in one of the photographs and then this assortment of items in another and i suppose if you study this photograph hard you can see let's select that one uh you can see that the two watt ones are this form factor and the one watt ones are this form factor so i'll probably just buy a one watt right let's select the uh, 1212s two watt so that was uh, GBP 369. The description is, well, all of those 0505S, 1205S. And of course, these are the voltages. So 1205S will be 12 volts in, 5 volts out. Well, I went for the 12 volts in, 12 volts out 
but I went for the 2 watt. Probably should have gone for the 1 watt. But anyway, free shipping on this £3.69. And these came from Mertel. No. Yes, Mertel 13. And here on my 3D rendering of the board that I've... It's actually in production now. In fact, I think it's out of production. I think it's on its way back to me now. Five of these. Um, this is the 12 volt power supply from mains to 12 volts, which is going to provide my plus 12 volts here. And this is the B1212 down here, which is going to provide the minus 12 volts. So I'll just switch to the 2D view and then we can have a look at the footprint for that. So here is the 2D view and you can see the little B1212 um, power supply down here and it's four pins on a 0.1 inch pitch spacing. Uh, these ICs over here are also 0.1 inch. So that's where the device has to go. Um, I'm not sure that bigger one's going to fit there. <laughs> but no worries, I can buy another one from a UK seller that is this arrangement of pins and that should come in fairly quickly. Right, next up is this one. So there's some stuff fairly near the top there, so I don't want to cut it. Let's cut right at the top. Has this got paperwork? Uh, no, I don't think it has. And it is fuse holders. Oh, and they are actually marked BLX-A. I'll get them out of the bag. So on the EVSE printed circuit board um, that I'm building a, a replacement for, you can see here that you've got this uh, BLX-A fuse holder. It's just a 20 millimeter fuse holder that's covered, which is sort of better for mains. And it looks like I've got the exact same thing, BLX-A. So I bought five of those from a UK seller. Um, I've put one of these on my PCB, but let's take a look at these on eBay first. And uh, it's this item here. So it's BLX-A. Oh, well then I should have expected them to be marked like that. Fuse holder, 20 millimeter by five millimeter, 250 volt, PCB mount, cover case mounting. Five pieces, which I got for two pounds and 27 pence. Uh, free shipping from Canvey Island. And these came from Droid 2018. Now, interestingly, on the 3D model, this item shows up as an uncased fuse holder. In fact, it's very weirdly rendered here. It doesn't seem to sort of completely render, um, which is odd because the photograph of this item, I'll go back to the uh, schematic for this, I think. Yeah, here we've got the schematic symbol, which is a bit over elaborate. Um, there's the footprint and there's the photograph with it as an enclosed one and enclosed to me makes more sense if you're putting uh, a mains item on a PCB makes more sense to enclose it I feel right well let's do one more and there's this bag which originally came from China but I bought this from a UK seller um, which is chock full of stuff so let's have a look inside and it's lots of these cables. And they're these, they're PCIe uh, six ways. This is some sort of Molex connector, but it's these are used for graphics cards. And of course they became very popular when graphics cards started to get used for cryptocurrency mining. Um, so you've got a six way oof, mail, I suppose that is with the pins to two six-way females but they're also eight-way because you've got this slide off that slides off and decouples um, additional two ways which just takes two of the grounds the blacks are grounds and the yellows are plus 12 volts um, and adds them on so I think some graphics cards had eight-way connectors and some had six-way connectors and the two additional connectors were just two grounds so that can be slid on or off. I will use it with them off because my hashing boards take six-way connectors, these things. So what I'm going to do with these, and I'll partly demonstrate it here, is cut off these, uh, these input connectors. 
so let's actually cut that off right now oh gosh it's quite a lot of wires on here so I'm going to cut all that off and then I'm going to replace one wire to go um, this end and of course these are two separate things now but these I'll um, twist them all together or attach them together in some way and put them into an XT60 I think I'll use at that end and then this end will go into the ant miner and I've got an L3 just down here that what this is for is to um, replace the Z9 mini that's in the shed with an L3 plus ant miner which is a, a more lucrative machine um, but I wanted to get all the wiring done first and I think I'm going to need a PCB for this as well which will take an XT90 in and several XT60s out but let me just show you the L3 plus machine I'm going to go roving for this because it's just down here and each of the hashing boards it's quite difficult to see but they have two of these connectors and you can see also here I've got these uh, eight ways with the additional two connector pins sort of decoupled from the six way connector but each hashing board takes two wires so two there two there two and two there are four hashing boards in this machine and then there's also a six-way connector and again this was uh, an eight-way connector with the two-way thing not used and these all go down to a PCB down here sorry about the lighting it's a bit dark and they're on a special board which you connect to these HP server PSUs this is a 1.2 kilowatt uh, PSU 12 volts at about a hundred amps I think you can get out of this thing if you feed uh, 240 volt mains in a bit less if you feed uh, 120 volt mains in so what I want to do is have four of these XT60 to a pair of these PCIe connectors so I can drive all four hashing boards I'll wind the clock rate down on this machine and then put this on my scam system out in the shed instead of the Z9 mini because I think this will earn more crypto so this is the item on eBay. It's PCIe 6-pin female to dual PCIe 8-pin, a 6 plus a 2 male CPU power cable splitter, 10 pieces. Um, 15 pounds and 89 pence for this. Free shipping from Leicester. And the seller of these items is Lavender Fix. So back in the shed, um, seen from here, we've got 12 volts coming out of this 24 to 12 buck converter. Um, that goes into XT90 into this wire, and that goes into this board. Now this board I'm just using as a connector to get from XT60 to these PCIe cables. Now this one um, takes it's got three hashing boards and they only take one cable each because they're quite low power and then the controller board so there are four in total uh, done on these two pairs and then split at the bottom here so i want to come off this xt90 go into probably a pcb so i'll use something like this where it's just double sided to provide um plus and minus well it'll be 12 volts here um four XT60s on this PCB all side by side actually maybe five because I need one for the controller board and then these will run down to there's a splodge of that water that dropped off the ceiling when I was having those problems with condensation and freezing um, yeah four of these cables will go down to the four hashing boards plus controller board of the L3 plus there are some L3 pluses down here might uh, be easier to see what's going on here actually so this is an L3 plus Two connectors there two 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 plus one on the controller board back there and of course on these they go back to these server PSU distribution boards and again I've got these 1200 watt uh, HP server power supplies but of course this is my main setup the setup up on the bench here is my low voltage setup and so I need 12 volts uh, coming from the buck converter straight into the ant miner so that's what those cables are for 
And yes, once again, it's cold out here. Three degrees today. Well, at least it's not freezing. So three degrees is okay for charging this battery pack. And so these are today's post bag items. Now, big thanks as always to my sp oh, my sponsor JLC PCB. Now, of course, my um, EVSE PCB is on its way here, so you'll see that pretty soon. Um, hit the subscribe button and press the like button. People say in videos, don't they? Uh, big thanks also to uh, my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, you can click. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten where it goes. Is it that one up there? I think it is. Um, no, I think it's the one down here, isn't it? Patron, yeah. And subscribe down here. And of course, another couple of videos up there if you want to watch more of my stuff. Cheerio.